Despite record numbers of COVID-19 cases across the city and nationwide, New York City is forging ahead with modified plans for its annual New Year's Eve ball drop in Times Square on Friday. We want to show that we're moving forward, and we want to show the world that New York City is fighting RW. In 2020, revelers were banned from the celebration as a result of the pandemic, and only a few essential workers, media members and police were at Times Square as the ball dropped. This year, the city will require revelers to show proof of vaccination and photo ID and to wear masks. The event normally hosts 58,000 people, but this year will be limited to about 15,000 attendees and only allow entry until 3 p.m., E.T., de Blasio announced last week. Elsewhere, major cities are moving to cancel New Year's celebrations amid surging cases. Atlanta City cancelled its annual peach drop while San Francisco scrapped its New Year's show. Other cities are also moving ahead with New Year's event celebration plans, including Chicago, which will host its largest ever New Year's fireworks display after cancelling the show last year. Indoor viewing areas will require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. If this were indoors, it would be a no-brainer, it would have been cancelled, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot said at a Wednesday news conference. But since it's outdoors, and we're spacing people out, we have some confidence that we are going to minimize and mitigate. Across the globe, Rome, Venice and other cities are also cancelling plans. Paris scrapped its fireworks show over the Champs-Élysées. A. London axed its New Year's event in Trafalgar Square. And Tokyo cancelled its world-famous Shibuya Crossing countdown. As the highly contagious Omicron variant spreads, New York City reported record numbers of new COVID cases at more than 39, 590 on Tuesday. Well performers including KT Tunstall, Journey and Carl G will take the stage during New York City's ball drop, LL Cool J announced he would not be performing after testing positive for COVID-19, Rolling Stone reported, 